Hello everyone, today I have a brand new haul for you and I'm going to kick off this video with Beau. So in case you missed my last favorites video, I introduced my Australian Shepherd puppy and he's almost 10 weeks old now. He's getting so much bigger. He gets bigger by the day and he gets heavier and heavier. So it is harder to hold him. He's letting me hold him now because he just woke up from a nap as you can very well see. But he is a very, very fluffy, sweet little boy, and I'm so happy to share him with you. So now I'll let Beau return to his nap, and then we can get started with the actual haul. And we'll kick off the haul with my new Remington device called the iLight. This is a really cool product because you can achieve at-home permanent hair reduction with just this little simple device. You don't have to go all the way to a dermatologist's office. And the cool thing is technology has improved so much in the past three or four years. I actually had one of these devices from a different brand way back when and the device was really bulky, it was super large and cumbersome to use and most importantly the refill cartridges for the flash bulb was incredibly expensive. So it was really hard to maintain and I actually tossed out the device because it was so much work to use. But now, like I said, technology has improved so much and this is actually an FDA approved device. So the one that I used in the past was not FDA approved, but this will actually help reduce your hair. And as women get older, it's completely natural to see more peach fuzz growth. I mean, I see hair, more hair along my hairline and even my eyebrows, they do seem to spread out more and more as I age. And it's completely hormonal, it's very natural, so don't freak out if that happens to you like I did. <laughs> but the IPL, which is the Intense Pulsed Light Technology, will give you professional results that you can achieve at home. And this is actually really easy to use. So the concept has stayed the same. You just turn it on and it will flash a light and it feels like a snapping rubber band, but it's really, really not that bad. Granted, I do have high pain tolerance, but you get used to it. And after the initial session, it really won't bother you so much. I'm focusing on my underarms and my kneecaps, which is oddly the only place I really grow thick hair on my legs. So I don't have much hair on my body in general, but I do have these weird patches on my knees where the hair is really thick. So I will check in with you probably in a favorites video just to let you guys know how it's going since it is a pretty hefty investment, but it's in perfect timing for summer since we all want to look good in our bikinis. So if you want to give this device a try, if you're serious about learning more or really investing in something like this because you have unwanted hair, then definitely check it out at the link below. Remington was nice enough to offer a 15% off discount code in case anyone wanted to try it, so definitely check that out in the description box. Now I'm going to discuss one skincare product and then I'm actually going to show you a few fashion pieces and move on to hair, makeup, and some Korean beauty products at the very end, which I know a lot of you have been curious about. So let's get started with the Glam Glow and I have been dying to try this. I bought it at Sephora because it had great reviews online and I have had positive experiences with all the other Glam Glow products. So this is the Power Mud. It's supposed to be a dual cleanse treatment, so mud to oil. And I haven't tried it yet, but I will say I do love the packaging. I think Glam Glow does a great job of making really nifty, cool ways to showcase their products. So definitely check out Glam Glow. I will update you guys about this product as well to see if it really works or not. But I am very excited because, again, I have seen results with all the other Glam Glow products. So now we'll talk about a couple of the fashion pieces that I've been obsessed with, and I really wanted to share these because I absolutely love them. First, I have the Anthropology sweater that I wore in my last video, which was the Chanel Fall 2014 review and tutorial. And this is by Akemi and Kin. This is an extra small, and I love this mint tribal sweater. It's very delicate, so I wouldn't recommend buying it on sale because by the time it hits the sale rack, it might look a little bit damaged <laughs> since it does pull really easily. But I love this combination. I think it's feminine and whimsical, a little bit bohemian, but not too overdone. So you don't look like you're going to a festival, but it's still wearable for every day. And I really love how lightweight it is. It's perfect for summer. Next, I have this really beautiful keepsake, the label dress. And I actually got this in a small, but I love the cobalt blue color. I'm obsessed with cobalt blue. And if you guys haven't noticed, I wear a lot of blue in my videos just because I think blue clothes really flatter and contrast with my warm complexion. And the best thing about this dress is the flared skirt. I mean, just look at how many pleats there are here. So 
So it just gives such a really fun, glamorous feel, and I just love how the cut is really simple and not too boxy, so it doesn't make my, my petite frame look ridiculous. But other than the cut, the material is what really impressed me. It's a heavyweight material that really holds its shape well, so you won't look too wrinkly even if you sit down. So I can't wait to show this to you worn in a in an upcoming lookbook. <laughs> now we'll move on to hair. And interestingly enough, I've been receiving a lot of questions about my hair care routine. And my hair care routine is essentially the same. I still use a lot of Shiomura and Kerastase. They make up my hair care routine. But recently I've started using a little bit more Moroccan oil. I've been interested in the brand in a while and I've actually had these products on hand. I just really haven't had the time with moving and with Bo to start using the products. But I, I'm really loving the Moroccan an oil treatment. I can see why it's so popular. It reminds me a little bit of the Shiomura Essence Absolute, which I love. It's very hydrating, especially if you have dry ends like I do. But I do think that the Moroccan oil, it does smell a little bit more feminine. It has a thinner texture, so it's easier to spread through the lengths of the hair. So if you're interested in Moroccan oil, I definitely recommend trying it. Just go for it. And I'm really happy because it comes with in a very secure pump. So I will be traveling with this as well because it is alcohol free. It's great. It makes my hair, hair feel great and you can use it on damp or dry hair. Now for another Moroccan oil product. This is the Boar Bristle Classic Brush. And as many of you know, I love my Mason Pearson hairbrush very much. I have the Handy Mix, which is a boar and nylon combo. And it's great for everything, pretty much. Brushing my hair, detangling, teasing, styling, finishing. But this Moroccan oil brush I'm pretty impressed with. It does have a more affordable price point. It has a longer handle, so if you have larger hands, it's easier to grip. And I will say that it's a great finishing brush. So I'll show you how soft it makes my hair look. It sort of gives it that soft focus look that you get with an Instagram filter, but for your hair. <laughs> so even though this is not quite as versatile as the Mason Pearson Handy Nylon Mix, I do think that this is a great finishing brush. So if you style your hair a lot, definitely look into this. Now for a new tinted sunscreen I've been loving. This is the Natura Vse Diamond White Oil-Free Brilliant Sun Protection with Broad Spectrum SPF of 50 PA++++. So the more plus signs, the more protection. So SPF 50 PA++++ is pretty much the best protection that you can get. And I really love Natura Vse products because they're really gentle on the skin. My mom is a huge fan of their products and she used to use them religiously. So I highly recommend giving these products a try. This is supposed to be a CC cream, I believe, or something similar to that, but it's more of a tinted sunscreen. It has very sheer coverage, so even with two pumps, I didn't see much color on my face, but I do love the lightweight texture. It feels a little sticky or tacky on the skin immediately after application, so I highly recommend setting with powder, or anytime you touch your face, you will feel the product move, but that's very typical of tinted sunscreens. So I just add a little bit of powder, which I would probably do anyway. <laughs> now for my summer fragrance of choice. This is the Diptyque Dosan Eau de Toilette and I actually prefer Diptyque's Eau de Toilette. I'm usually an Eau de Parfum kind of girl because my skin is very dry so my skin doesn't hold fragrances very long but I feel like Diptyque's Eau de Toilettes are so much lighter, refreshing, more feminine so I really do like the Eau de Toilettes and I've actually stopped buying the Eau de Parfums just because it is summer now so I do prefer the brighter, more floral or citrus scents. So this is actually a floral scent and Dosan Eau de Toilette is the second best seller in the entire Diptyque line. The first of course is the Bay Candle which I'm obsessed with. I wear the L'Ombre Don Low scent which is the equivalent to the Bay in the fragrances. I have Bay Candles all over the house. I have the Bay scented oval in the, the hamper and the towel area. I just love the Bay scent. But Dosan is an exception because I love this floral since it's not overpowering and it doesn't dry down too powdery, which is what I experience with a lot of floral scents. They just kind of smell like my grandmother's perfume and nothing's wrong with my grandmother's perfume. She wears Chanel number no. 5. But <laughs> it does smell a little bit, a lot of florals tend to dry down a little too powdery on me. So that's why I love Dosan. Now for a cool brand called Nude Sticks and they recently launched at Space NK. I love Space NK because they really find 
the best cutting edge new brands on the market. So if you like to try new products, if you're bored of the typical designer ranges from Chanel to Dior to Armani, definitely try Space NK products because they do have really great performance products. So I'll start with the nude stick in uh, Lip and Cheek. This is the Whisper Crayon. And I love the packaging because it comes in a really travel friendly little tin. And you can actually store a couple pencils in here. So basically the idea is that you can do your entire face with just a few pencils. And I think that's really cool and modern because it's meant for the woman on the go. And as many of us are very busy, I think it makes sense, right? <laughs> so this one is called Whisper and it's the perfect nude. I love nudes with a hint of brown or pink. I do think that these are a lot more natural for everyday wear. Now for the magnetic eye color pencil in Moon. So this one looks just like the lip and cheek pencil. There's another eye pencil. This one is the eye pencil crayon and this actually comes with a sponge tip applicator on the other side. So these are more like eyeliner shades. This one's in bronze. But Moon is actually an eyeshadow base pretty much. So it cleans up your lid, especially if you have discoloration, you definitely need this. And Moon is again a magnetic eye color. So they do have shimmery versions of this, but you basically just apply it all over the lid and pat it into your eye and it will make a great eye base. And now to wind down this video, I'll be talking about two more cushions. Cushions are the new trend in foundations all the rage in Asia, and I've reviewed the cushions that I currently own on the blog already at www.thereviewer.com. I'll link it down below as well in the description box if you're curious to see which ones I own. And I love the cushion concept, but it is better for a dry climate, cold climate, and for those with normal to dry skin. So I was really curious about the Hera UV Mist Cushion Long Stay and the Laneige BB Cushion in the Pore Control Formula because I hear that these are better for normal to oily skin. So my friend Leanne in Singapore sent this to me because she's a sweetheart and she knows how much I love cushion foundations. She actually introduced me to them. And she sent me this whole Aussie one which I love. So the Laneige Pore Control I will give you an update on. It's number 21 natural beige. So 23 is the darkest color and I have both 21 and 23 in Solasu. So I'll try to swatch them for you to give you an accurate comparison of the colors. And now for the Hera cushion. So as far as Hera, a lot of people have been asking me where you can purchase Hera. You cannot find Hera in the United States as far as I know. And I live in an Asian community so if I saw it I would tell you. <laughs> but I was able to access these Hera products because one of my blogger friends, M just just like you, I'm sure some of you have seen her channel before, she does review a lot of high-end makeup, offered to pick up these products for me, so of course I paid for them, but she was generous and very sweet enough to send them to me from her trip to South Korea where she did find these products. And again, I will update you on a lot of these products like the Remington, the Moroccan oil, the nude sticks, and the Hera, and Laneige cushions. The cushions I'll actually review together on the blog since I will make it a part two. Just as a follow-up to my first cushion post, I just think it would be easier to compare these two. But anyway, thanks so much for tuning in as always, and if you have any further questions about the products that were featured in this video, please feel free to leave them down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Bye!